Let's go, JP Morosi on the inside corner. Throughout the season, you and I have to talk about injuries and firings and all ick, right? But what we really want to talk about is guys making their major league debut, making their dreams come true. Today is a day for Grayson Rodriguez. Yes, tell me more. Yes, Lauren, good morning. Grayson Rodriguez, Major League debut this afternoon. And how about this? It'll happen in his home state of Texas. So the Orioles just making this news official within the last 30 minutes or so. He has been recalled from AAA, making his debut today. Kyle Bradish placed on the injured list. And as you can tell, Lauren, from that beautiful edited piece we had to begin this segment, We've been preparing for this day for a while. Our editing team has been all over this with Grayson Rodriguez. What a talent he is. If he had not had that lat injury in 2022, we probably would have run that piece sometime last year because he was really on his way to making his debut a year ago. And this is a huge reason why the Orioles, for all the strides they made in 2022, a lot of us believe there is still some room to grow and get even better mm. in 2023. And Grayson Rodriguez, one of the very best pitchers in the world who was not in the major leagues yet, of course, that changes today. Major League debut, and he'll have uh, likely Adley Rutschman behind the plate to guide him through it. And Jacob deGrom on the mound as well. Welcome to the big leagues, young man. A Phillies got their first win. I remember back in spring training, JP, and we saw Bryce Harper taking swings, and I thought that's a little bit early for what they're saying is a June or July return. Could it be sooner than that? It could be, Lauren. And now, right now, the Phillies are being publicly cautious about putting a date certain on this as to when Harper's going to be back in the major leagues. But it does appear at the moment that he is at least a little ahead of schedule, that we could see him back in June and perhaps even earlier than that. To your point, the, the swings have been really encouraging in terms of his ability to already get that part of his game working. I think one of the things, candidly, Lauren, and we've all had the great pleasure to watch Bryce play a lot over the course of his career, it's that, that sliding head first and wanting to be careful with that part of his game that maybe the Phillies want to be a little more conservative with it. But you see it there. Of course, the Phillies got their first win of the season yesterday. It's been a tough beginning for the reigning National League champions, and certainly they would love to get him back. It's just not the same lineup right now without Harper, without Hoskins. As we know, Reese likely gone for the year. I think having Bryce back at some point in time before the end of May, which is at least possible, at the very least we could certainly see him in June. Whenever that return comes, it's going to be a huge psychological sure. and baseball-related boost for the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, we saw Bryce being interviewed on Sunday Night Baseball, and he said, I just want to win, man. Message is clear. So do the Braves for that matter. And now they have question marks in their rotation. Max Fried officially on the injured list. What now, JP? Well, for now, Lauren, it's going to be Bryce Elder getting the ball in his season debut today to take that spot in the rotation. And right now it's been a, a bit of a challenge for the Braves just to make sure that the rotation is lined up, even though they're still playing pretty well to begin the season. A 4-1 and one start uh, atop what's been a, a bit of a topsy-turvy National League East so far this year. I would point out Dylan Dodd, of course, made his major league debut really encouraging, as we've already discussed here. So Elder gets the start today. In general, we've already seen Jerry Schuster get his first start of the season so they've got to rely on their youth a little bit so far so good I think from a standpoint of how the Braves have played collectively but it does appear that maybe it's going to be one or two starts missed for Max Fried there is still a lot of optimism though Lauren that he will be back in the Braves rotation before the end of April I'm listening to you thinking it's weird to not see Dansby Swanson playing short for Max's club you and I were talking in the commercial break and you said he just looks good he looks free and easy what stands out to you I think, Lauren, it's just a really good situation for Dansby to succeed with the Chicago Cubs. He talked about how, as, as a kid growing up, his grandfather always loved watching the Cubs in addition to the Braves, and he just looks comfortable in that uniform, Lauren, so far. And certainly when you're batting 500 to begin the year uh, through 20 at-bats, again, it's a small sample size, but how many times have we seen a marquee free agent go to a new team and struggle. It's been the opposite for Dansby. He is thriving. You see it there, 10 for 20. And I like the way the lineup looks right now for manager David Ross. Nico Horner leading off. You've got Swanson second, Ian Happ third. It really, you've seen really good strides from Horner and, 
and half as well to begin the season. So I think Dansby's been in a scenario where they've had productive at-bats in front of him, behind him, 12 runs scored by the Cubs yesterday. Certainly Dansby looking very, very comfortable in Cubby Blue. Yeah, something tells me he will succeed wherever he goes. Is there any new artwork, by the way? I haven't asked you this year behind you from the girls. So, Lauren, I need to get make sure we get it all, all figured out. Actually, uh, Elena is homesick today from school. Okay. So Ooh. she'll be working on, on getting things uh, tuned up here maybe as she recuperates. Give her some More art on the wall. I'll have a new unveiling of art tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> Elena, get to work. J.B. Rosie on the inside corner. Thanks so much.